Well, hey everybody, I see we have 122 people. Oh my goodness, that's fantastic. So let's get started. Um, we're really excited for the new year. So we came up with 2020. Now there's a lot of jokes in this 2020. I will be doing more of them, like hindsight is 2020, that sort of thing. <laughs> it's it's kind of funny. I'll be doing more of those. So, okay, I'm going to go on to this in a minute. I see in the chat, everyone chats before anything starts, and I think that's awesome. A lot of new people. So if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, um, and uh, join us because it's so much fun. It's so much fun. So, okay, first of all, news uh, of giveaways. So there's two giveaways from last week. How do you win a giveaway? Just participate, stand out from the crowd, do something spectacular like sharing and liking and getting other people to join in. That's how you could win. So these are Christmas letters. Last week I showed you guys the placemat I made. They're really gorgeous. And the winner on this one is Janet Nelson. Janet Nelson. So congratulations, Janet. You will love this. You need to send me an email to sue at omlembroidery.com and uh, give me your address so we can send it out. We also have another one because it got really busy and I think we got 500, 400 people. So we ramped it up a bit and it's this one, embroidered cards, which are amazing. That's, there well, there's going to be a glare. You can see the ring light. It's hard to do shiny stuff on camera. Well, y yeah, you can see the ring light. So I have to hold it this way. So how about like that? A little up, a little bit more? Ah, you're going to see it. Whatever. So there's a lot of different ones, and I love it. So this is going to go to Chris Yost. So congratulations, Chris. Uh, I think you'll love that. That's something I'd like to work on. All right, I'm going to put this aside somewhere. How about there? <coughs> Excuse me. This week I picked something completely different, and it's called Circle Town Centerpiece. It, it's hard to see. Okay, there's going to be glare. I'm going to stop worrying about it. And it's pieces that go around. It's really cute. And it's single stitch, so it, it stitches quickly. And I think you could change the colors and it would be for anything. Um, I, c I can even picture like Halloween colors or Christmas colors with little decorations on it. So that's what is going uh, today. Let's see, 10 different designs in three sizes each. So larger hoop for that one. But anyways, so that's what we're giving away. All right, let's talk 2020. Let's talk 2020. This is the design we are working on today. And I love it. It's simple but fun. Now, these are supposed to be raw edge. And it's supposed to look messy. You don't have to do it messy. If you want to trim it neatly, you can. And I used some of my new fabric. And I love it. I love how this turned out. For today, we're going to use this fabric for the background it is gorgeous and I do want to show you just quickly the set that it came from my mom my mother-in-law um, got me this layer cake for Christmas and it's fantastic look at isn't this gorgeous the colors are bright and bold and uh, dragonfly wings isn't that something look at this one so I pulled, oh, this is my favorite, I think. It has gold flecks in it. So, you know, with layer cakes and pre-cut fabric that it all matches. Look at the purple, blue, purple, and darker purple, and green. That all, oh, I'm like, wow, this is spectacular. It's like wings. I hope you guys can see the bright colors. So, look. This is what I picked it from. I picked the purples and gold because I thought it, but look at this. Wow. I'd love to make a set and use these different ones that all match like the blues and greens and purples. So anyways, uh, thanks mom. This is awesome. This is 
stunningly gorgeous fabric and we're gonna have fun stitching on it so okay i wanted to say we took a vote on the snowman dude and we're gonna do him next week i decided that we should get some 2020 action going on so that's why i moved it ahead snowman is for any time in winter so next week we'll do it i wanted to show you guys that this is uh, something I did and it is available on the OML embroidery um, dot com website and it's cool 2020 background in quilting stitches in that neat 2020 so you can buy this blank so it's just all the lines and the 2020 or you can pick this one up and it's just a uh, quick stitch so it does the 2020 there's no applique in it and it's really good and by the way if you're using felt on the back it i i don't really like how it worked out you can't get it flat enough so but anyways pale green i thought it was cute and so anyways you can get this one on the website so fun anything else don what do we got no i'm just watching you throw mug rugs around I did throw a mug rug. <laughs> I did. So I wanted to do a solid color for this part. So let me move it down. I wanted a solid color because this is um, gorgeous, but it's busy and I want the 2020 to stand out. So I didn't have fabric. Um, I think gold would be spectacular. Um, of any of these colors but i did have felt and look how that's gonna look that almost matches perfectly i had originally picked out the gold but the purple is way better so bye bye gold and i have scraps that i have pre-cut and ironed because mcdreamy doesn't really like the folded back ones he gets a little nasty about it but anyways and i have my warm and natural backing that uh debbie mick mixel how do you say mixel sorry i'll probably always say it wrong debbie so apologies in advance um she had scraps and sent them to me and geez i love them it's fantastic do you know the name of that layer cake was there, do you remember or was there a name on it no but i can find out I will find out. Isn't it stunning? Oh my goodness. Um, I will find out. I will ask. Actually, um, mom, if you're watching, I know she listens every Saturday to our, she calls it the show. I listen to the show. So that's how I know if you're, um, if you're listening, mom. Hi, first of all, thank you for the great layer cake. And, uh, can you let us know where you got it? And then I can find the name of it. So she might text. Was that her texting? It could be. It could be. I'm just having a drink because my throat is suddenly dry. Mm. Any other questions? Hi, Sue's mom. It's actually Dawn's mom. I just call her mom because I don't actually have one of my own. So she's just mom. She's my mother-in-law. Mom. Yes. Would love the name of the layer cake. Yeah, I'll work on that. Um, I think it's gorgeous. I think it's fun. Um, the last thing that you guys need for today, I like to have everything ready. Five by seven hoop with, um, no show mesh cutaway. So if you don't have the no show mesh, I like it cause it's nice and thin. You can see how thin it is. Uh, any cutaway will do, but you do need cutaway for sure. All right. I don't know if I could get the layer cake fabric. Yeah, okay, so everyone absolutely loves the fabric. It's amazing. So um, also what I'm using is I am going to go blingy bling, and I'm going to use silver and gold metallic king star thread on this, and it's going to be wow. When it's done, <laughs> it's going to be wow. I love it. So are there any questions? Let me look in here. Getting my machine ready. Uh, isn't it awesome to have a mother-in-law who understands? Yeah, she is 
good. She last year, I think it was, she got me a whole bunch of AccuQuilt dyes. I almost peed my pants. It was so awesome. I was like, how'd you know? How'd you know what I had and what I didn't have? Well, yeah, she's pretty clever. And fabric, it's like, wow, she got me some for my birthday too. And she got uh, fat quarters that match. I'm like, you, mom, you rock. This is amazing. So she'll be pleased to see all of this <laughs> and that uh, such excitement about what's going on. Ooh, Betty Wheat, I love snowmen. I gave your snow globes as gifts. Oh, awesome. Awesome. We love that. Um, we love that. We've seen so many people step out of their embroidery box and do mug rugs and do applique and get great results. And that's, you know, pretty much the goal. I don't know if you guys read my blog. I did a quick blog the other day and I kind of put that all into words. How spectacular 2019 was for all of us, the channel, the group, the designs, the progress, the, you know, learning how to do something without instructions right in front of you. I think that's spectacular because I know people are finding it easier. Sue, show us our nails. <laughs> Close up of the nails. All right. These nails are spectacular. Let me see. They're pretty shiny, though, so I don't know how well you're going to see them. Let me see this way, this way. It's pretty hard down a bit. So they are snowflakes. Let me pick one that has a, all oh, right, here, you might be able to see it. Uh, snowflakes and then designs on the side. It's pretty hard to see though, isn't it? This one maybe. There's polka dots on one side and stripes on the other. So it's bling and sparkle, and that's what we're doing today. So, yeah, beautiful. Kind of Christmassy, but not really. Kind of like wrapping paper. <laughs> so, yay. Yay. So, any other questions? Oh, my puffy hands. My goodness. That's Christmas dinner in the puffy hands right there. Whew. Lots of salt. Time to recuperate. It, well, yeah. Yeah, I know. So any questions? Gorgeous nails. Thanks, Sarah. Um, as we start off, I would like to say, um, um, am I doing, someone said, sorry, I got distracted. I, do you do both hands? Well, yeah, Don's not going to do it no. with his big bear paws. Can you imagine? No. no, I do it all. I do it all. I absolutely do it all. It's called stamping. And yes, we'll do a video on it. Oh, look at how they shine in the camera. Woo! I got an embroidery machine for Christmas. Well, Valerie, that's kind of awesome. Uh, are those different metallic threads? I'm using Kingstar because Kingstar rocks. I have a gold on McDreamy right now, and uh, I'm going to be using the silver for the silver lettering. So if there's any questions... Um, Oh, I started off, sorry, I started saying something and then I got distracted. I'm I'm kind of like Dawn sometimes. Hey. It's like, shh, don't tell. Shh, shh, you have no backup. Norseman's here. Norseman's here. I have backup. <laughs> he, he's all puffy now because he has man backup in the group. Well, there's more of us than there is of you guys. So, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, thank you to the mods who really, really help out in the chat. We appreciate you guys so much. They provide you guys with links. They answer all the questions and they have tons of fun. And also in the OML Embroidery University Facebook group. Thanks to everyone who participates. Thanks to the mods. So, okay, let's get stitching. So, Don, over to the machine. Oh, my shelf just fell. <laughs> I hope there isn't a big crash. Am I on? Yeah, yeah, I'm on. So my backup light at the back didn't work. So I'm sorry that this part back here is a bit dark. But eh, whatevs. Oh, I have a new helper. Me guy, 09. Oh. He said us men need to stick together. No, <laughs> you men do not. <laughs> yes. Oh, change to a larger embroidery frame. Oh, that's because I didn't rotate it. Whoops, I forgot to do something. There we go. Like, Dreamy's like, no, you're not going to stitch this like this. I know. So, 
I have everything loaded. I am going to do the outlines with the gold thread because I want to show you guys, you know, how well this thread works and it's awesome. Hi, Karina. Thank you. Thanks for doing the lives, Karina says. Thank you for donating. I appreciate that. You're the best, Karina. <laughs> I love Karina and her husband, who is the Norseman that we talk so fondly about, sit with their own computers and in front of a TV, and they watch the videos and, and stuff. It's it's awesome. What so, machine are you using? Do you have a store? Yes. OMLEmbroidery.com is now uh, a bit of a store. So head over there. There's a lot of mug rugs. Um, my machine is a Brother Dream Machine 2 with all of the upgrades. His name is McDreamy because he is a dream. So, okay, let's get started. Any other questions? Just shout them out, Don, or answer them or whatever you want. Okay. We still we have a microphone for Don, but we have a hard time. Only once to work half the time. What? It only works half the time. I know. Nobody wants to hear you anyways. Oh wait a minute. Did I say that out loud? Yeah. So heard. the oh, first stop <laughs> The first step <coughs> is the outline. And this is the outline for our batting and actually our fabric on this one because we can just put it all down uh, in one. So my batting is a little bit big, but that's okay. Kathy Brennan's asking if your bobbin is full. Oh, darn. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't check. She darn. You, now, now I'm going to run out of bobbin. Darn. And you don't have to trim anything at this point. I just want this to stitch down nicely here. Perfect. Karen Myers, thank you very much for the donation. We appreciate it so much. There we go. So, that was a good stitch. It's going to stitch it down now. I'll probably have to do it again for the fabric, but I just want this part to stay down. Stay down. Down. Stay down. And then we're going to put the gorgeous fabric on it with gorgeous shades of purple and a little bit of gold. Sue Shai has, thinks that your layer thing is Dance of the Dragonfly. Dance of the Dragonfly. That's what she thinks. It How is, cool yeah. is that? So, yes, on this step, put down batting and your fabric. I didn't do that because I wanted it to stitch down really really well so i am gonna go back a color and we are gonna do that again just because i just wanted it ready Ooh -hoo -hoo. so i want the stripes going that way as opposed to up and down now let's see if i can it's i'm struggling a little bit don you need help no you know you don't touch my dreamy Hey. No. That's my McDreamy. You don't get to touch them. Right. Beatrice is upstairs listening to this, probably thinking we're kooky, but <laughs> then again, no, she probably doesn't. It's just normal around here. It, it pretty much, yeah, the banter. Okay, now this is going to stitch down twice. I know I did it twice, but there you go. The fabric is gorgeous, I know. I, when I looked at it and I, I said to my mom, I, I'm going to use it for the next one. She said, really? I said, well, yeah, that's amazing. It's amazing. Amazing. Look at it. The colors are even brighter in person. It's, it's thrilling. And it's busy. And it's busy. So, okay, that's the look I wanted. It just didn't seem to me that it was going to go down flat properly and you can see my nails better as I'm working away here so gold I don't normally stitch with that I did actually want to see how well it matched and it's perfect so look at that perfection I'm happy Sue what is your machine it is a dream machine brother dream machine 2 with all the upgrades fondly named McDreamy you can see his name I, I of course, um, 
put stickers on my dream machine, which I don't know if it's a good idea, but heck, it's there. Okay, so the next step is we're going to make the window frames for the 2020. Now, there's a couple of ways you can do this. You can do it neat and tidy. You can trim between each one. You can do different fabrics for each. Um, there's there's a lot of ways we can do that. So you get to be a little creative. Now, I'm using felt because that's all I had that matched, which, you know, is fine. And I'm going to uh, stitch and trim. I think I'm going to leave spaces in between. I'm not 100% sure yet. Debbie Mitchell, thank you very much for donating. We appreciate it. Oh, that was the placement. Whoops. Whoops, my rhythm is off. The first stitch is the placement, so you know where to put your fabric. So you can trim it beforehand, you can trim it in between, you can do whatever you want. Now, I'm going to have a nice edge here because I'm using felt, so I can't really make it messy unless I try really hard, which I might try really hard now uh, this is just easy enough for me to do in the hoop but i thought the raw edge applique kind of added a little something to this design so but you can do whatever you want on it you don't you don't have to have you know you don't have to have it a certain way there's no satin stitches though so it is going to be a little bit of an edge so let's see how that looks so it's going to stitch it down twice now so, all right, any, any questions? No, looks good, cameras look good. I haven't hit it yet, so awesome. So it'll be a fuzzy edge on this one. Yeah, I kind of like it. I can leave a little more space in the next one and see. So it's kind of cool. We're gonna go to the next one. So again, if you wanted, you know, wouldn't it be spectacular if we had the light purple, dark purple, the super dark blue in each color to match or some shiny gold? So cool. So as always, the first step is showing you where to put it down. So let's see right there. The gold looks spectacular, doesn't it? So we are going to see there's a little space in between, you know, you could just literally trim the top and the bottom and leave the color in between. You don't have to trim in between or do it one, one at a time. So it, it, you know, you could go different ways with this. I like it. That's, that's why I thought, and, and these are little tiny pieces. So it's, it's very scrappable. So I'm just going to place this let's see if i can i like to live on the embroidery edge so i'm lining it up almost perfectly so i don't have to trim let's see how well i do just for fun just for fun can you wash a mug rug in the washing machine sure can just wash it the only thing that you can't generally do to a mug rug is uh iron it because you may melt the thread so yeah for sure Yeah, five by seven is listed in the supplies. I always put it in there. Okay, there we go. So look, hey, I did pretty well on that. I like that. That was fun. Embroidery edge kind of fun. Cool. So I'm just going to be a little messier with my cutting. See how I did that one? little messier and I'm gonna leave a little bit of an edge let's just to see how it's gonna look all right next next how is everything in uh the chat Don all right answering questions for us oh thank you mods I look and I see some flying by, but it goes by so fast. If you really have a question that you really, really want an answer to, the best way to stand out is with the super chat or a super sticker that will hold it. It puts it a bright color and will um, allow us to see it. It keeps it up too, 
which is awesome. But thanks everyone for the donations. We appreciate everything you guys can do. If you can't donate, I know it's Christmas and it's been hard times, then you can participate by sharing, liking, commenting, the whole bit. So uh, every little bit helps. Everything you can do helps. And uh, most of all, have fun and accomplish this. It's uh, awesome. So I'm loving this so far. The colors are spectacular. I, I am just, I spotted this when I opened it um, cr on Christmas and I was like, that is going to be a mug rug. I see mug rugs. I see mug rugs and everything probably. Yeah, I'm really liking that. So I might do all of this in gold. I wasn't sure if the gold lettering would show up. Um over the fabric but I'm pretty sure it's gonna so I'm not worried about it so I think I'll do everything in gold and make it really slick what do you think Don gold 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 I like the fuzzy raw edge that I got going here with this like yeah it's kind of neat I'm experimenting I'm cutting it really close and neat it kind of hacky and messy that one's messy but a bit longer just to see what it's gonna look like I'm thankful I had a scrap piece of fabric which is perfect not fabric felt it's Linda, felt Linda has fabric in me she loves your layer cake oh I know isn't it amazing I gotta say thumbs up to mom she's um she'll probably be giggling at all this uh she it's gorgeous i i would pick it out for myself it's so gorgeous so yeah she gets um she gets a lot of mom points for that for sure don't you think don mom points yeah uh, she's doing pretty good um we will be working with this fabric again of course doing different things i gotta think of uh i need a good design design to use for these dragonflies because um it's amazing it's amazing and i can see some quilt Beautiful fabric. pieces yeah i know wavy purple fabric so we're working on that we're uh i will get the answer for you guys and post it in the oml embroidery university group and I'll let you guys know the line, the layer cake and the line. Because I was thinking, I mean, the layer cake is stunning, but I usually when I purchase a layer cake, I also purchase some yardage, whether it be a fat quarter or, um, you know, yards of it, just in case, just in case. Just so I have extra if I want to do something big and use the layer cake for the highlights, something like that. Okay, so this one is neater but longer, and I messed right there. I was trying, so I almost got it. All right, now we're going to do some stars. So I am going to leave it in gold, so no thread changes for this one. Although it's probably not the coolest idea to um, do all the lineup stuff in it. I think it'll show up yeah I you know what it blends right in that is stunning that is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous when we get this done if you guys want we can um, kind of go through the layer cake again and, and pick some stuff up Ooh, donations keep it up thank you thank you J Ratcliffe 2 and bead guy 9 Thank you. <laughs> Number one fan. Woohoo. Thank you, bead guy. That's awesome. Thank you very much, everyone. Um, are you a member of the OML Embroidery University Facebook group? Yeah, that's you have to be a member and you can get this file for free. We do a lot of, well, every Saturday we do something free. And in between, I design and Dawn designs really cute ones that are maybe a little off topic but um the price is like four dollars just kind of minimal ones so if you like any of those um <coughs> extra ones head over to omlembroidery.com and see what you like see what you like so okay what's going on hit the like button woohoo 
So, do you guys like the gold? I think the gold matches the fabric uh, perfectly. Oh, I should also say that my mom, my Don's mom, my mother-in-law, got uh, um, King Star metallic thread for me as well, and uh, it didn't come in in time because, of course, we have to order it from the states, so it takes a bit longer. But she picked out a whole bunch of colors, so um, I'm really excited about that. I'm really excited about getting that. So I will share that with you guys as well. So someone says, Kathy Judd says, uh, oh no, sorry, Kathy Brennan, wrong Kathy. Your design pricing is very reasonable. Yeah, it's always going to be that price because it's not... You know i gotta make a little money but it's not necessarily about the money it's about learning and accomplishing stuff so if you can do a mug rug um without instructions yeah how cool is that so i'll be working up something to help everyone but chris yost our winner says uh I'll be work. I, I got to get gold. Yeah, the gold is spectacular. I love it. Linda Molden, woo, thank you for the donation. Diane Constance, thank you for the donation. I love the little characters drinking coffee and whatever. We decided it is a pair. I wish so. we could get them up when we, when we put the title up. I wish the little pair showed up in the title. Oh, the yeah. No, it doesn't. Okay, so this part coming up, we have the hello, we have the frames, and then we have the really cute designs. I'm excited to see what they look like on this. And I'd like you guys to notice when it's stitching that it's all one piece. There are, um, there are uh, no uh, trims, is what I'm trying painfully to say. More caffeine, Dawn, more caffeine. I require more caffeine. I so, have uh, I have lots. What's your excuse today? I don't drink coffee. <laughs> oh. I don't know. So we'll enjoy this uh, stitching out, and you guys can notice how I carefully hid the connection stitches, and that's something. That's another reason why I'm doing these um, mug rugs, is so that you guys can see what a really good design is. Not that I'm tooting my own horn, toot toot, but. I, I dislike trims and jump stitches, so I do my best to um, hide them. So the thread, yeah, it's Kingstar, and I got it from Designs and Machine Embroidery, because um, uh, anything that comes up new, I usually get it, but it takes uh, a while. Misha Pennington, watch out. Don is getting froggy again. He, he kind of is. I'm not frog. Ribbit? Ribbit. Um, he's better now, so he doesn't need any sympathy, no, which is I'm, hilarious. I'm finally recovered. Yeah, it I, was bad. I, I noticed that the King Star thread sold out all over the holidays. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oops. I'm not sure if that was because of me or not, but uh, the stuff's spectacular, so what can you do? Woo! Diana, thank you very much for your donation. Look at that H. Isn't that H cool? Wow. So, hello 2020. That's awesome. <laughs> Linda Shantz, to end the year with more coffee for Dawn and bling for Sue. Thank you for all you do for us. Oh, thank you for the donation. And that's funny. I love it. I love it. So, Don has enough coffee. He's apparently a little more awake than I am, which is awesome. And, knock wood, I, d I don't want to say anything yet, but... It seems, other than my one light, that stuff works, so I'm kind of happy. And I have not hit the camera yet, so yay! Yay! So thank you, everyone. This has been a spectacular, spectacular year, and there's so much more in the new year. Uh, we have a lot of plans. We are going to keep with the Saturday Stitching with Sue. You get a free file each week. Uh, let's have some more fun. I'm thinking snowflakes, snowmen, um, and of course, you know, different ideas. If you guys, someone said in our, our group, oh, I want to do 
um, like a New Year's thing, and I hadn't thought of it because, you know, I lose track of time. <laughs> all of a sudden it was Christmas, all of a sudden it was New Year's, and I'm like, oh yeah, I guess I need to do that before the snowman. So, yeah, that's how this came about, and this is why I changed, because I want everyone to have this to be able to stitch it out. I cannot wait to see these designs flowing through in um, uh, the OML Embroidery University Facebook group because people get super creative. Ooh, did you see that <coughs> connection stitch everyone from the O straight into the uh, work? Yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think the mods are covering it. Oh, is there trouble? Well, um, sorry if you're having trouble. YouTube isn't always reliable for stuff. So there are super stickers and there are super chat. So if you want to donate and you want to get, you know, your message to stand out, I don't know what you guys see, but I see like, um, big, huge colors and brightness. If you can't figure it out, you can head over to omlembroidery.com and there is a button at the top and I think at the bottom to make a donation through PayPal. It's just quick and easy um, if you want to do that. So um, we can help out if you're having troubles. Ooh, I'm liking how this looks. I just looked at my work. Woohoo! What software do you use to create these wonderful designs? Well, we have an embroidery business and it's a commercial business, so we have commercial software. Um, we mostly use E4 because we're used to it because we digitize for the business. And then of course I digitize for this, so it's just easier for me to use because I'm used to it. So E4 with all the goodies, um, it's a heck of a program and it's priced like through the roof in Canada anyways so Eugenia oh thank you oh I love the coffee pair I think that's cute four dollars that is awesome we appreciate it look at the gold so these stitches right here are candle wicking and I thought they were um, fantastic I thought it would look amazing so amazing connections going on when you guys are stitching it out just watch the for this part the hello and the rest of it and uh, you know even seasoned embroiderers can you know pick up on stuff I've done some pretty clever things on this one to make great connections because this is how we want embroidery designs to stitch out whether it's a mug rug or whatever less trims goes smoothly let's do it we'll come e4 all modules are just at, no everything we have everything we do everything so we have everything it's a fairly complicated program and what i say to people um they say, do I need Hatch or do I need E4? And my answer is, if you don't know, then you need Hatch. So we knew we needed um, the commercial level software. But Hatch is still amazing. It's similar. It still has the powerful thing. And you know what? It, in Brilliance is fantastic. I would love to get my hands on the... Uh, the dime software uh, perfect I can't think of what it is that one looks amazing I have the lace software from them and it's awesome I'd love to have the whole thing but you know that's just me so if you don't know what e4 does or or whatever then you probably don't need it and you can save your money and put it towards um, a new embroidery machine or something so the other software will do each software has its benefits so you just have to look at it but yeah we use commercial software because we run a commercial business so there we go Rebecca Smith thank you that is a happy pair and Chris Yost thank you oh blowing kisses the pair is blowing kisses I love it I love it um 
Misha Pennington says, It's so nice to have a worldwide weekly meetup with all these Stitch friends. Best part of my week. You know what? It's the best part of my week, too. I, I can have fun, and I understand that everyone is having tons of fun in the chat. If you're not stitching along, that's fine. People are really enjoying the chat, and it is exactly that. It's a weekly meetup. You can ask questions. You can ask questions of the group. You can sew along. I point out tips and tricks. It's amazing, and I I love it. It's, it's my... I don't know, highlight of my week, I get up all excited for today, which is awesome. Marcia Nation. Oh, thank you. You are amazing. No, you are amazing. No, you, everyone but Dawn is amazing. Hey. Hey. What? No one can hear you. I'm working magic over here. What? Ma <laughs> Listen, you sounded like Italian. I'm working here. I'm working here. <laughs> All right, so did you guys see all that? It started up here. It did, finished all the applique and went down and finished everything. How cool is that? So um, awesome. Now for mine, I'm going to do it in gold because I think it's spectacular. But if you had any of these dark colors, that would look amazing on that. And I have more thread than I have fabric, so I could have done that. But I am just so into the gold metallic. I'm going to let it go. So there we go. We have a little... Careful putting your fingers like I do. You hurt yourself. So nice thick numbers. Now these ones are going to have trims because that's all we can do. So, okay. Let's keep up here. I love your software les lessons, says Carol. It's amazing how you can apply the same techniques to different software, just different terminology for the same thing. Wow, thank you, Carol. That's exactly what I say, because people are like, oh, can you do this in, in PE design? And I don't want to do the same thing in all the software, because you can pick up different things. And, you know, I'm using basic stitches, running stitch, fill stitches, or tatami stitches. And you should be able to get something from every digitizing video and bring it into your software. And I know that sounds difficult if you're new, but it really gets you to dig into your software and learn it. And I think that's really important. If stuff is given to you, you'll, you'll be able to do it, but you won't really without instructions. It's not like in your head. If you dig it out and work with it and understand it and have that wonderful light bulb moment, you will advance in the software. So that's that's what I think. A lot of people have had a lot of success. One of my favorite things is people who are new and they say, this is my first mug rug, what do you think? And my answer is, awesome, that's great. Step out of your embroidery box and try something new. You never know. You never know. It's Sound awesome. Uh, uh, 10,064, it says. I had to think about that. Where do I find that? Ah, of <laughs> course. McDreamy has everything. My dream machine. It's an awesome machine. If I had a ton of money, I would probably get a Luminaire. Um, just because I'm a tech nerd and it has some pretty cool features, but I don't, and I love McDreamy. It, it seemed weird to me. I think Don's jaw hit the floor when I told him I wanted a dream machine, single needle machine, because I have up here in my office, I have a 10 needle machine, and then our business machines are all multi-needle, and they're downstairs, and he's like, uh really <laughs> yeah and i love it i've always um disliked the single needle machines i don't know i always found them too hard to use and annoying mcdreamy is quiet and that's one thing that's great is that it's quiet Ooh, i feel a presence behind me peggy says that, that layer cake is on amazon at a good price oh did everyone hear that that's american amazon uh, I think so. okay well, um, I'll have to look it up. 
and see. Uh, Diane says, I have Wilcom Hatch was with your tutorial last evening. So for Hatch, you have beginner stuff to introduce you to it. And there are 25 classes that I used to charge $20 for easily. There's 25 classes. So full hour long classes for free. So, um, super excited, had a machine three years, looked impressive in my room, but the first project ever completed was a gingerbread mug rug! Yes! That's awesome. It, what do you it is on the Canadian Amazon as well. Oh, it's on Canadian Amazon as well. So, um, and it's the same fabric set? Yep. Can you tell us what it's called? Dance of the Dragonfly. Just type in the search Dance of the Dragonfly layer cake and you'll see it. There's lots. And say it so they can hear it. It's Dance of the Dragonfly layer cake. If you type that into the search bar on Amazon, it'll bring it up. Um I think that's uh I think that's awesome. I need to start with Embrilliance because it's Mac compatible. Uh, bead guy zero nine. Yeah, you know what? There's nothing wrong with Embrilliance. It works natively on a Mac, which means it, it it actually works. I love it. I absolutely love it. So, what do you guys think of our design so far? I am really happy with the way this worked out. So. Where are your hatch classes located? Well, they are on this channel. Um, there's playlists, so you need to explore the playlists. And there are classes. I have Ember classes. They're older, but still you can get information out of them. My um, recording and microphone and all that kind of stuff has come a long way on some of the older ones. So bear with it. They're still good information. Um but yeah, classes, everyone should be watching. Even if you don't have Hatch, watch a Hatch class because I am step-by-step -step digitizing. So I'm bringing in a picture in Hatch and you can do that in your software. If you don't know how, you can look it up. You can go to the help section and look it up, but you will remember that. And I think it's awesome. Okay, so we are ready to put on the backing. I love how this turned out. I am so happy. Gorgeous, gorgeous fabric. Um, so I have the pieces ironed. You fold them in half and they're ironed. And what we wanna do here is create an overlap and that is um how we are going to turn it and cut it and if you notice i haven't cut anything so far you don't you don't have to cut anything on this one till the end so you want you know about an inch overlap or so um that'll work one of the things that i've been doing that i want to check on is that this second one that shows, I've been doing it slightly crooked. So I want to make sure it's straight. Another thing you can do if you're really clever, if you have a pattern on the fabric, you could fussy cut it so it matches. So you just have a line through and it would look incredible. I don't have to with this fabric because it's kind of a random thing, but just the, like if you had stripes for the back, it would be really cool if, you know, you matched up the, the stripes. So there we go. Okay. So now this is our last step, believe it or not. How easy was that? How smooth was that? And it's going to do a back stitch all the way around. I left the gold in. It probably would have been a good idea for me to change it, but I didn't. So there we go. How's it going? <laughs> I love that sticker. Thank you, Jill. Thank you, Jill Scarsbrick. Thank you very much. That is um, a really cute sticker. How's it going? Well, it's great. I wake up happy every day, so, uh, and inspired. Sue, remember the tape. Oh, crap. I didn't. Obviously, my bobbin was full, too. <laughs> I didn't check, mind you, but it was full. No, I... All right, let's place bets. Do you think McDreamy's going to do it or not do it? Because I did totally forget the tape. I did a really good job of ironing, so let's check it out. <laughs> What's in your bobbin? I still think that's a personal question. 
Don, what's in my bobbin? <laughs> Classified. Redacted. There we go. All right, this is working well. So what do you guys think? Is he going to do it? I'm going to have my hand on the stop button. Wish it was a little flatter. Come on, McDreamy. I don't know. He never does it. No, he's not going to. Did you see that? Did you guys see that? That's hilarious. It was all ready to go, too. McDreamy! Dude, you kill me. It sewed its foot onto it. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, it kind of did. That's okay. A little trim, a little lift. There we go. Because I had it ready. Now I'm going to rewind, I call it. Just to get, also to get the needle out of the way. And, uh, can I have some tape there, Don? No. <laughs> Would you mind? Uh, your pink painter's tape? Yep, pink. I got better looking tape. Hey. So, no big deal. McDreamy doesn't do it. No matter what I do, I have literally tried everything. Um, my TED needle machine will do it every time. Has no problems. Even if I don't iron it, it'll still do it. McDreamy, he's like, no. No, I'm just not gonna. CJ so. says hold it down with a chopstick, that works. Oh, it still doesn't work. <laughs> I have a I have a purple thing handy and it just it, he wants tape and you do what McDreamy wants because he's so dreamy. I don't really get it why he has to be so stubborn, but he is. So yeah, ch uh, chopsticks, it's really not a good idea to put your hand in there. Or a purple thing for turning or something like that. I just haven't found anything that works. For me, it's just easier to tape it. So, you know what? Thank you for reminding me. I, I didn't even think of it. Darn. Darn. And this one, you don't have to change your bobbin thread at all. So that's nice. Because that's another thing while I'm doing videos that I forget is to change the bobbin. All right. Well, there's your mug rug. How cool is that? Happy music from McDreamy. McDreamy, you rock other than your dislike for tape or dislike for this part of the mug rug. It's awesome. So I just removed the tape. It was quick and easy. Don, can we go back to my desk? Sure. All right. At the desk. Thank you very much. Oh, I bumped the camera. Oh, with the hoop. Oh, geez, I went the whole time without bumping it. We have a bit of a different setup, but I went the whole time without bumping it, and then I just whacked it with the can. Darn. So I am going to save this extra piece of fabric. And what I do um, when I have a layer cake is big pieces like this I try to save as much as I can because you never know when it's going to be handy but I keep this with the layer cake so you know it's there and if you need a little piece this is going to do completely but I keep it all together and I think that makes a difference and I think it's really nice so this is the piece it's like a quarter of it so I'm going to put it with the layer cake and I just kind of put it on top and uh, you get kind of like a stash for it. Or you can put it in a, a basket or something like that for storage. But it's really nice to have it all right in front of you while you are, you know, searching for whatever you want. So I'm just trimming. You don't want to trim too close. Um, you definitely don't want to cut your stitches. So I'm just trimming away. And then the only thing you have to do if we don't round the corners is clip the corners. And I usually do just another little snip. Just, I find it easier. Especially when you use like thick fabrics. So there and there. You have all these triangle scraps all over the place. But there we go. That one is pretty good. I'm going to leave that one because I don't want to cut anything. That one's a little bit short, a little bit of a mess. I will keep this scrap as well. I'm not going to keep anything else. This is too small. I'm not going to keep anything else. What? I'll oh, take your scraps. Garbage man. 
Garbage man. Thank you. All right, so we're turning it and try to be gentle. Try, try, try to be gentle. I just use my nails. You can use your chopstick or uh, purple thing or anything like that to turn it. So I'm just going to be gentle with this one. Sometimes I get a little too... Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I am so happy I did the gold. See, that's all you have to push it out. It's not going to ever be totally square. That's all you want to do on it. Because you don't want... Oh, we have a tail here? Oh, McDreamy didn't trim that. McDreamy! I cleaned them today, too. Don't know why he's so picky. Now, all you have to do is give this a quick iron pressing. Lots of steam. Careful on the thread. And look at that. That is wow. I'm going to give that a wow. And I like to iron it so it's like that. And it'll sit nice and flat like this one. So which one do you... Yeah, you know what? This is from a layer cake as well. Um, I don't know which one I like better. I'm pretty sure I love this fabric and the gold. That's amazing. But this is a layer cake and they have one of the things about the pre-cut fabric is that they have the same pattern with different colors. And that's all I did. I had a scrap of the burgundy and blue at the back. Then I matched that thread to this and golden gray. So isn't that cool? I think it's awesome. So Vicky. Oh, thank you, Vicky, for the donation. Thank you for all the tutorials. I've learned so much this year. Uh, you're very welcome. I'm so happy to hear that you guys are learning. Eventually, the ones that have been with us from the beginning, you'll be able to look at a pattern and know exactly what to do for the applique. You'll know exactly what to do and you can get it done without worrying too much about, you know, step by step instructions. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. So, um, Mom, thank you very much. This fabric is uh, gorgeous. Even though I made a little boo-boo there, do you guys see that? It caught enough, so I'm not going to worry about it. Nobody says that everything you do has to be 100% perfect. I make boo-boos. I recovered from it. I don't think anything's going to happen to it. You could put a little glue down if you wanted to, but I'm not going to do anything. And uh, yeah, mom, I'll send you two mug rugs. You can have the gold one and dad can have the more manly colors on it. So. I have to take that when I go and pick up your King Star thread. Woo! <laughs> King Star thread. Didn't quite get it in time for Christmas, but you know what? That's okay too. There was a note and it said it's supposed to have King Star fabric in it, but it didn't show up. Can you show your layer cake fabric again? Sure. Sure. Um, it is stunning, isn't it? I'm going to put it so... Can you see Can you see the top one, Don? Yeah. Okay. Is that, um, that piece that's on top, that's the top of the layer cake? You didn't change the order? I didn't change the order on this one. Just so when they're looking, they'll know that that's what they're looking for, that particular piece? Yeah. Yeah. This is the top of it. I, I don't know if they do it differently. She did get it from the States, so that, you know, what you see... The colors are, I don't know if it's my iPad, the colors are a bit different. But look, let's go through it. Let's just simply go through it. So it's the, this is the same pattern, but different colors. Look, oh, the greens. So you could match this fabric with that fabric. It's the same greens and different colors in it. This is what I love about layer cakes, guys. Look at that. Oh, that's that's the same but different. I love it. You can match it up with different if you had like a navy blue, a dark blue, um, that sort of thing. I'm going to put the 2020 here maybe. Uh, or the greens. It would look spectacular. Look at this, dragonflies. I love that fabric. Yeah, it's amazing. And it's really high quality. It's soft and gorgeous. It's like fabric that you know your favorite jeans sort of thing it's nice and soft but the gold on it i i may get or try to find some yardage of it 
So pinks and blues and turquoise, the colors in here are amazing. It's really nice. This is one of the nicest ones ever. And Cindy says it's on Amazon right now, but it's only showing 11 left. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that happens. So hop on and get it quick if you want it. Oh, Look at that. There's only 10 left now, somebody said. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, you oh, look at this one with the greens. And remember, that bright green is in another piece of fabric as well. So I love this. The layer cakes are fantastic. Yeah. Yep. It's my favorite thing to do. Especially, like, I can't coordinate colors either. <clears throat> I'm not good at coordinating colors, but with a layer cake, you pretty much guaranteed to. Yep. Look at, isn't that... Can you not just picture something cool for that? Oh, that's amazing. Happy New Year. Yes. Uh, Jenna? Reikley? Gina? Yep. Jenna? Gina? Gina? Look, isn't that pretty? The purples. So look how perfectly the purples go together. So, I mean, that would have been easy enough to use in here. I just wanted something plain, though, because I, I wasn't planning on using gold in there. Okay, same greens. Spectacular purples. More greens. I have that in the wrong spot. Uh, you ready for this? Look at that. Wow. And then greens. And then pale color. Pale blue. Goes with everything. Look at this. So these are all dragonfly wings, this part. It's Gina. Gina, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> but, see, I have sometimes have trouble pronouncing names because my name is Sue Brown. You never know anymore. Well, and, and I apologize to everyone if I pronounce your name wrong, but Sue Brown, nobody, and my maiden name is um, Wilson, so really, literally, no one spelled my name wrong or said it wrong. It's just too easy. Look at this turquoise. I, I love it. So amazing fabric. I think mom will be just thrilled. Look at this. I had a hard time deciding between blues. You made her a mug rug using the layer cake she gave you. Yeah. That's awesome. Yep. That was the plan. There's the purples and then greens and blues. Oh, that's why I said I see some quilt squares or something. Look at even this one is amazing. It's the same purples and those greens I was talking about. So that's the whole layer cake. I went through it. I love it. Um, thanks, Mom. You're you're a star now. Everybody's raiding Amazon now. Oh, <laughs> well, we'll see if we can find another place for it, too, because... Um, I want to do so much more with this fabric, and I'm going to come up with some cool things to do. So, Janet Nelson. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. So, um, Dance of the Dragonfly, that's what it is. Thanks, Mom. Do you guys have any questions that I can answer before we go? Other than the fabric, um... Dance of the Dragonfly. It's amazing. You can get this mug rug design free in OML Embroidery University Facebook group in the files section of the group. And if you want more of our designs, they're reasonably priced at OMLEmbroidery.com and they're mug rugs. And there's just a whole bunch like the Gingerbread Family. And I did another 2021. I did this one um with 2020 stitches in the background so you can have fun with those and keep learning it's awesome i have to check in our local store for similar yeah if you find it in a local store scoop it up i would like some yardage of this i don't know which print i would like but anything you know I, i'll take anything i'll take anything which valentine mug rug yep i'll be doing all of that i'm gonna do some I still have a couple more Christmas ones that are a little more intricate, a little more difficult. Um, I'm going to get our team testers to work on those, so they will be up on the website. But for free stuff, this is what we're doing next week. Happiest Snowman Alive. And then we will be doing snowy and different things like that. Which Kingstar Gold did you use? Oh, there's more than one? Apparently. Well, who knew? 
Uh, hold on. Let me uh, take it off McDreamy. McDreamy's going to be naked here. Oh, well, I'll do that after. I used MG1. M MG1 for the gold. You can see I've been using the gold. Look at the difference in thickness. <laughs> so hopefully mom got me some gold too. I love it. I love metal. You see the th difference in the thickness? So that was silver. So that's what it is. MG1 Y1081. I don't know what the numbers mean, but that's what I used. So there we go. We'll put that up top. What's up, Don? It's like uh, Cindy says it's time to start working on Christmas for next year anyway. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I hope you guys are too because I have designed ones, but I started running out of time to test them because Don and I still work full time for our embroidery business. That's how we're able to do all this for free. But I ran out of time to test them all. And that's when I decided I needed to bring in some testers and just have fun with it. And I can create and they can test and we'll put them up and decide where they're going to go. So, um, yeah, that's going to be a huge help for us. Dawn is going to be creating um, more manly designs, probably. We're going to call his section Dawn's Den. And that'll be fun as well. Like so den? Don's Den, that's where you're going to find the manly designs. I don't know what a manly design is, but I'm sure Don will let us know. There we go. I forgot where do you to get your King Star from. I got mine from Dime Designs and Machine Embroidery. Um, I have a lot of their stuff. You guys have, of course, uh, I know Cindy King. Hi, Cindy, by the way. Um, I know Cindy got one of these right away and she said it has helped her a whole bunch. Um, I think this is one of the best things on the market. I think it's uh, under $20. I'm not really sure. But what it does is uh, you pick your fabric and it tells you the stabilizer. It tells you what needle, what size, if it's anything spectacular, and then talks about how you do it. So this is a whole bucket of information. This is the answer to so many questions that we see all the time. What stabilizer do I use? Now you just have to turn this and figure it out. See, it tells you the instructions, what stabilizer, what you can do. So to me, this thing is worth its weight in gold and it's from designs and machine embroidery or dime as we call it. I have a lot of their stuff and I love it. So when they came out with the King Star thread, I was like, uh, all right, challenge accepted because it said it will stitch right through. And uh, one of my favorite things is to buy new things and experiment with them and test them out and report back to you guys. And so that's what I did. And then it was so fantastic. I just simply kept using it. So if you can get your hands on Kingstar, that's um, fantastic. Just grab yourself some. Uh, it's amazing. It's really amazing. I love it. I've got a nice pile of stuff. So any questions? Oh, large magnetic. Sally Beard says, I love my large magnetic hoop. Yeah. I know they are the best. I have like two for McDreamy. I wish I had every single size because I would use them all the time. It's amazing. A couple of people have picked up the compass and love it. Yeah, it's a handy tool. And um, Don first said to me, like, why would you get that? Well, Don and I do the same things all the time and we have for the, you know, last 15 years. So if you were to stitch on, say, faux fur, do you know what stabilizer and how you do it? No, I don't remember. I haven't done it for a long time. Sweatshirts we do a lot of, caps we do, denims we do, socks not so much, um, metallic thread embroidery, moisture wicking technical fabric uh there you go that's what you use and i love it for that and don was like oh and i've seen him sneak upstairs and use the compass and then put it back you saw nothing i saw you because we don't remember so it's a a brilliant reference guide and i think everyone should have it like i said i know cindy king bought it and is like yep wow awesome so um 
It's just handy, Cindy says. It just is. I have these oversized um, clips on my, like, right over there. And I just clip it to it so it's easy to get at. I mean, it's easy to store, have it out. It's amazing. It's amazing. So, all right, guys, this has been fun. This is the last one for the year. So next year we'll be doing more. So thank you for a fantastic 2019. We can look forward to 2020 because we're going to be making spectacular milestones and leaps and bounds in embroidery. Dance of the Dragonfly sold out. <laughs> Dance of the Dragonfly has sold out. So, That's uh, somebody's reporting anyway. Okay, we uh we will do some research and we will find out uh where else we can get it, but ask your local store, just call them and ask if they have this fabric. It may not necessarily be a layer cake, but if you can get some charmed squares and one or two yardage, you have everything you need to make whatever you want. So, thanks everyone for a fantastic 2019 everyone can pat pat themselves on the back happy, happy new, new year, year and have a wonderful day and i'll see you guys in embroidery oml embroidery university facebook group and um happy new year thank you everyone bye